what's up youtube welcome to today's video so my day off today and uh, my good buddy adam also has a day off so we're going for a ride to the beach it is still i don't know what temperature is today but it's like high 30s so it's still blazing summer here so we're hopefully going to go and chill out in the sea for a little bit brought my uh, waterproof gopro snorkeling kit so hopefully we'll go and see some nice little fishies so stick around and you can see what a Japanese beach is like. All right, so, so far today we're not having much luck. One of my bolts just fell out of the rear sets. and I couldn't change gear so had to stop on the highway and uh, use a GoPro bolt to basically temporary hold, temporarily hold it in. It's probably going to hold until we get somewhere where there's maybe a DIY store but yeah now we're in a huge traffic jam where I need to actually change gear and I'm just worried that any time I change gear, every time I touch the gear shifter the bolt's going to fall out. Anyhow we'll see if we can redeem ourselves and get some luck all i want to do is go for a swim so adam what happened here then mate well about 20 minutes ago yeah a fucking massive tanuki a tanuki a raccoon this big yeah jack fucking hell i didn't yeah. see it man it just ran out in front of me yeah I didn't do anything man damn I tore off my fender and it ran off with it in its mouth really well, it didn't even get killed. <laughs> no. Damn, those things are strong. Yeah. Shit. Man, man, there was some roadworks to the left. Yeah. Man, it was all coned off. Yeah. And we were filtering. And uh, you filtered just past one car. Yeah. And he got a bit pissed off and kind of blocked me as I was trying to pass. Yeah. And I just rode straight head on into a cone, man. Damn, man. And it fucked this up good and proper. You're lucky you didn't fall off. I just about saved it. Shit. Um, but, but basically it was my fault. Well, everything is. None of it my fault. It's never my fault. Oh dear. Oh well. Expensive day out. It, it always is when we're together. <laughs> Alright guys, so we finally got off the nasty highway and got our bikes repaired. And now we're on Orange Road. So... I was actually really surprised to, to, uh, to realise that I've never been here on my KTM before which is bizarre because normally whenever I get a bike one of the first things I do is come here so yeah today's the first time for the old big old super duke on this road and so far I can feel it's a lot stiffer than um, the MJ7 or the CBR was obviously not as stiff not uh, not as soft as my uh, 690 SMC. That was a brilliant bike on this road, the Supermoto. But uh, yeah, I can feel there's quite a lot of bumps on this road and like uh, metal, metal work, like grates and uh, you know, like manhole covers and stuff. So you have to sort of be careful with your lines on this, but I can feel like already it, it wants to bounce quite a lot. So I really do need to get this suspension set up on this, like, ooh, like that one. But uh, yeah, so far it's, uh, it's much better than the M207, like torque and engine wise. This bike feels so, so effortless. You don't have to rev it at all. So that's a good, a good side of it. It's just the suspension is a bit, a bit too stiff. And the brakes are great. So yeah, I'm very much enjoying my first ride on Orange Road. And Adam's doing his usual, like, go mental mental routine so he's miles ahead already i'm not even going to try and keep up with him today <laughs> my shoulder's still a little bit sore so today like uh probably his priority is having fun and going tearing up these roads my priority today is just getting in the sea and having a swim as a form of re rehabilitation for my shoulder so yeah nice and slow slow run for me today Alrighty, so we've finished our little ride on Orange Road and now we're heading down to the beach. 
it's a place called Bentenjima which uh, that is kind of a weird name for a Japanese place Jima means uh, Shima which means island so sometimes they instead of saying Shima they say Jima um, but yeah it's uh, three kilometers away apparently and it's supposed to be super nice Adam's been here before so we got our, our lunch here I bought myself a lunch from the convenience store a chicken katsu sandwich a uh, rice ball a non-alcoholic beer and some chocolates so we're gonna head down to the beach eat our lunch and then go for a swim We had a nice day at the beach, did a bit of snorkeling, did a bit of swimming. There was a couple of Brazilians, but they were they looked like beach whales, so we didn't do any chatting up of girls. Yeah, you got your sweet towel, man. You're looking like a little bit a little bit whiter than I don't know what. Got your guns out. Yeah, good time. So this what is it like an hour and a half to home, something like that? Yeah, so an hour and a half from home and you got this lovely little beach. Pretty quiet today, but uh, in the summertime, I guess it's full of poontang. Yeah. All right, I suppose. <laughs> Brazilian poontang. I suppose we better get on the highway, dude. All right, YouTube. See you next time. Make sure you smash the fuck out of the like button. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. Peace.